so sad. We are having the most typical New England winter day. Welcome back to the vlog. Freezing rain and icy roads. Disgusting. The air is wet and damp and cold. It's disgusting and gross. So with that being said, um, <laughs> I am so bundled up in my suit today and I'm gonna do some of the boys stretches and I thought we could just go over that together a little bit. I am gonna do a vlog hopefully later this month, fingers crossed. I am shockingly going on a vacation thanks to my parents. Um, away from horses for a few days so I'm hoping when I get back to do a vlog special for you guys on uh, my friend Jenna who does equine body work and uh, kinesio taping and stuff like that so I'm hoping to interview her a little bit on the vlog that has become a real integral part of uh, what we do here Body work has become a big part of what we're doing here at Stonely. And um, so in the, all of that to say, bleh, sorry, words are hard sometimes, especially when it's the day before you're leaving on a trip. All of that to say, um, the stretching that I'm doing today is with the assistance of Jenna. So she gave me instructions and showed me how to do them and how often to do them. So I'm gonna be doing that today for the boys. So Rex, Richie, and Doc. Um, I'm gonna get Rexy out. So yeah, you guys know we're all super big on different therapies here and body work, massaging, stretching. That stuff has become um, really important to us. Hey buddy. So. Under Jenna's recommendation, I'm gonna be doing some stretches today for that, since it's cold. Um, it might be a little awkward in my lovely red and goat suit. <laughs> These are my favorite, they are so warm. This is, I think, I think my third winter in this suit. I need a new one soon. Um, super comfy, cozy, warm. Uh, red and goat should totally sponsor me. They don't, but they should. Um, I've been on my own little adventure trying to uh, work out and become a better athlete in 2022. I will talk about that on another vlog because that's just not what I want to get into today because I feel fluffy in this suit and after the holidays, but... Um, at some point after my little vacay, we'll talk about my 2022 goals and plans now that we're in the new year and what I'm doing to help improve my personal fitness and what I've been doing with Doppler and stuff like that. Hi, buddy. Um, but today I really wanted to focus on just kind of catching up with you guys. Um, it's been kind of a slow, soft start into the new year because I'm gearing up for that short trip um that i planned in the beginning of january so nothing too crazy on the agenda wanted to just kind of do some stretching today say hello i haven't been good at vlogging and i want to get back to it so um let's get started with rexy so um i'm just gonna take um the top layer off for now and then when I'm ready to do uh, back stretches, I'll take his next blankie off. And then I'm just going to take these wraps off as well. These are just his back on track therapy wraps to wear at a stall, which he was wearing. So the first stretch that I'm going to do today with Rexy is his neck swaying. Jenna usually gives me a list of things that are important to do between her visits. So Jenna comes once a month and 
massages and works on the boys, does all their stretching, and some of the clients in our barn as well. So I'm just doing his neck sways first. I'm going to do this for 30 seconds. is front leg stretches forward. So I carefully bring this out. And I do this for 30 seconds. This one's a little awkward in my suit. seems to really like the stretching. Uh -huh. He seems to really enjoy it. He usually does a lot of weight conditioning. And I'm very gently just going to put the leg back down so he doesn't rip it away from me so he can continue the stretch. I put my hand back behind his uh, leg back here just to kind of support him if the stretch is hard. He's been doing this for a while. He doesn't necessarily need this, but it just feels nice. Uh, you'll see me do it with Richie later too on Doppler. Oh, Hopefully you can see. Again, barely holding the hind leg just to support him and encourage the stretch. stretch possible with them. I'm just doing a short list um, a couple times a week of what Jenna recommended I do in the meantime and I do it by order of importance. So if I only have time for like three stretches then these are kind of the things that would have come up.
Rex definitely seems pretty into the stretches today, which is nice. I'm going to move my camera back up here for a minute. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is a tummy lift. I like to take his blanket off for this so I can see that he's engaging his back. So I just put it on his butt, put my hand up here and lift his tummy. And I'm going to hold this for 30 seconds. So we're only going to do one of those right now. And then when I have time, I also like to use my all-time favorite posture prep massage groomer. Dig into Rex gets tight in his neck and his shoulders. So I like to spend a minute or two really rubbing those muscles out. He really loves this part. You guys have, if you watch the vlog, you've seen me use this stuff before. This is my all-time favorite grooming tool. They really love it. Oh, it makes the muscles feel so good. <laughs> really into it today. And they, these guys were all due for their teeth to get done. Actually, the dentist was supposed to come today, but with the icy roads, we had to reschedule for next week. So I'm sure he's holding a lot of tension in his jaw and his whole, yeah. Just feels good to really rub out all these muscles with all that tension stemming from, from that in his head. And, oh yeah. I know. Yeah, it's your favorite. And then I'll come over to the other side. I can do his back too. Um, since I'm gonna do the other two boys today, just going to focus on where he holds a lot of his tension in his shoulders and in his neck for today. Um, good boy. Since I have a couple other ones to stretch. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. This helps release the muscles, soften them. Wish somebody would massage me. As I do these horses. So that's pretty much it for Rexy. I don't have any carrots today, or I would be doing carrot stretches as well. But since I'm leaving for a few days, I didn't go to the grocery store. I'm gonna go ahead and blanket him back up. And then, whoa. Do Doppler. Rex already got his beamer session today, so that's done, which is why you don't see us doing that today. Um, these guys are currently on a morning riding schedule with the indoor reunion times, so he gets beamered in the morning, and we're kind of falling into the afternoon now. I will do, um, when I get back from my trip, I'll do a better, more updated morning barn routine with the indoor schedule and and what that kind of looks like for you guys. I know you guys love seeing what I do in the day, even though to me it starts to feel a little repetitive. So see what else is new lately everybody there hasn't been a whole lot of new happenings I know I told you guys well the last vlog was Boyd Martin Clinic that was my last vlog of the year I think I showed you guys this fancy new blanket I bought Doppler I felt a little bit bougie buying such a fancy stable blanket, um, but it has this lovely fleece wither protection, and he gets really sore in his withers from winter time from blanketing. So we balled out this year for Dot Man because he's so special, right? He's so special. We have a middle part going on today, so. 
Um, not, nothing too crazy with him. We've still been playing it pretty easy with the flat work. I'm still without a dressage saddle, so not really any new happenings there. He's going to get a week off this week, which I'm not too concerned about. Do you want some coffee? Coffees? Do you want some coffees? Um, he's going to get a, almost a whole week off while I'm gone, and I'm not really too concerned about that um, since the weather's been changing. Let him adjust to the frozen ground and everything. And then we will be in middle of January, so I'll probably give him like two-ish weeks to get back into like good flat work. Hi, buddy. I know. Hi. And then uh, February, March, April, we'll start hammering out the dressage. And before you know it, we'll be back in the season. I keep telling myself that anyways. I'm like, oh, 12 weeks goes by so fast. It'll be here before you know it. But I'm basically lying to myself. Um, so for DOP, I'm going to set up, uh, I'm going to beamer him first, and then I'm going to set up a little bit of a time lapse. So it'll be a little bit different. I'm not going to talk you guys through it. However, pretty much the exact same stretches for Doppler as Rex does. Um, except for a few hind lip stretches back. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Richie stretches will be a little bit different, but um, I'm gonna be in room first, be in room first. <laughs> Time to feed these little hungry hippos lunch before I move on to stretching Richie. But I wanted you guys to see Doppler's weight. Look at this. Absolutely incredible. I'm so happy Triple Crown Feed sponsor me. Um, I've said that about multiple companies today and I apologize. Um, I'm just so happy with how he looks right now. This is the goal, this is where I always wanted to be. He looks so happy, healthy in the middle of winter when it is cold. And I'm just beyond pleased um, with his weight. So just a little weight update. We talk about Doppler's weight a ton, but he's being so silly right now. He just had a puppy. Does he have a puppy? Okay, I'm gonna feed these goobers lunch and then we'll move on to Richie. So baby Richie here is new at cross ties, so we'll see how that goes. He has been tacked previously, tied in a stall, so he's really good at standing tied in the stall, but I wanted wanted to work with him a little bit today on the cross ties, so we'll see how that goes. His stretches are a little bit different because his body is still growing, and we have some different things that we're kind of targeting. <laughs> um, Rex and Dov were teenagers, so a little bit different. So. Um, gonna try to see how this goes again we might have to start working in a stall but I wanted to try to I'm trying to teach him about cross tie things and how it works he's a good boy standing with somebody holding him it's not the wash stall atmosphere he just has never stood tied on both sides like this so that's just kind of new right he is such a love such a sweet boy with such a good brain such a good three-year-old. They're hard to find. 
Okay, so Reggie's first stretch is uh, his front legs, and he's still really new at this, so he might not make it the full 30 seconds, and that's okay. But we're really going to be sensitive and supportive, really gentle. It's okay. Good boy. It's okay. off the track, so we don't want to pull his legs at all, we just want to encourage him to stretch. Oh, good boy. we finish today.
then I'm just gonna do a couple tummy lifts with a stretch for him, and that's everything he has to do right now. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, I gotta get to PM chores, get some stuff done. Richie's just doing baby little stretches at this point. He's got a long ways to go. But uh, just wanted to check in and say hi with you guys. I will be back hopefully on a normal schedule. Fingers crossed. Hold me accountable, guys. <laughs> Ask me where the vlogs are um, when I get back from vacay. And until next time.